alongside James Gallagher, who is back in Dublin and back headlining the three arena. James, first of all, um, how's Everton coming into this week? Obviously, uh, you know, a huge, huge fight for you, um, returning after that loss against Ricky. Um, first of all, emotions on fight week, another big, big night for Irish mixed martial arts? It's going to be unbelievable. So it is, um, uh, there's 8,000. 400, 8,400 or 600 tickets, I'm not sure, I can't remember the number, but from today. So there's only a couple hundred left, it's a packed out arena, and I'm looking forward to going out there on Saturday night and being the main event. James, obviously, you know, and you always see it, and it's something that sort of puzzles me a little bit, the criticism you get off a lot of the fans. You know, a lot of people saw that fight, saw your loss, and took joy in that. What are, you, what are your thoughts on that? Weak-minded people unsuccessful people, people not happy within themselves, successful people, people that are happy within themselves, are too focused on being successful to give a shit about what anyone else's failures. They don't care, but for me it wasn't a failure. For me that loss was not a failure, so it wasn't, it's, a, it's actually a step forward. I learned so many different things that I didn't know before, and now I know them. So dude, that's it, I'm a, I'm a dangerous man now. I know something I didn't know back then. And that's a dangerous man coming. You know, something I often say, you know, when, when a mixed martial artist loses a fight, it's, it's how they bounce back. And, you know, I've been pretty impressed with what you said and what you've done. And I'm not here blowing smoke up your arse, it's just how I feel about it. You've reacted very, very well. Is this possibly, in certain terms, the hardest and most difficult fight of your career in many ways, emotionally and mentally, bouncing back? I feel uh, the total opposite. I feel like this is a breeze, so it has. I feel there's a big, I wouldn't say weight off my shoulders, but I'm breezing through this. No pressure on my back at all. So reason I'm, I'm having the time of my life. I'm just focused on this fight, not looking into the future. I'm not looking at the past. I'm just going by how I feel now, how the event's going now. And it's perfect, me. It's fucking perfect. I'm buzzing out of my skin. I feel absolutely great, and I'm proud. So I'm going to be proud to go out here on Saturday night, raise the flag for my people, go out there, put on a spectacular performance and get my arm raised at the end of the night. He's obviously your opponent. A lot of people you know, won't know an awful lot about him. It's his Bellator debut. He's in the main event against you. Um, can you fill us in or, or let us know anything about your opponent? Yeah, he's a good opponent, coming off five first round finishes. Uh, brown belt in jiu-jitsu, same as myself. Uh, submission fighter. Fights likes the floor, as do I, but I like, I, I'll go anywhere with him. I'm going to create opportunities for myself, whether it be on the feet, whether it be wrestling, whether it be on the floor. I'm going to be the creator of my own opportunities, and when I create them opportunities, I'm going to grab them with both hands, and I'm going to get that finish. James, I feel with the TV deal and everything that's gone on with Bellator in the last number of weeks, I think it was crucial, obviously, to get the TV deal, you know, live broadcast, live mixed martial arts on a huge, huge platform. For you, is this maybe like the second wave, the second coming now with all the Irish fighters and everyone else that's involved in Bellator MMA from this country? 100%. Um, uh, we needed this. We needed this. People who can't come to the shows, people who are not... My granda is very sick at the minute. So he is, so he can't, he can't come and uh, he's able to, going to be watching it on TV and looking forward to going out there and doing, letting these people see my hard work and doing them proud. Do you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people from Straban that can't come, they can't make it for different reasons and they're really going to tune in now and, and, and watch and they're going to see me do my hometown proud in Straban and I'm really looking forward to going and do it. It's a big moment for me, it's a big moment for Irish MMA and I'm looking forward to being the main attraction and to be able to go out there and set a good example for Irish MMA. Do you think that has the potential to do this, be a, sort of a showcase mixed martial arts event for, for Irish MMA? 100%. I feel it's going to show what we're about. So it is a, the, the broadcasting is unbelievable. They can see I'm doing my own media with PMP photography. I'm pushing out behind the scenes uh, content, kind of things that people don't really see, especially of me. So I'm a uh, it's great to really give the fans this kind of thing, see what I'm like behind the scenes, see the build up to it and stuff like that. And and I feel that everything's just going smooth, smooth as it comes. I'm calm, relaxed, and I'm just ready to flick that switch. And uh, I'm going to put on the best performance of my life on Saturday night. Are we going to see a finish, James? I know, I know the answer you're going to give me, but prediction from you in the fight? First round, rear neck choke. I can see, t I can, I'm going to bust him up bad with strikes. And if he's tough, the ref will drag me off him. And if he's a little bitch, he'll give me his back and I'll choke him. 
James Gallagher, always a pleasure. Very much looking forward to Saturday night. Appreciate the time. I appreciate it, mate.